Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to more Let's Play Dark Souls Charcoal Challenge. This is day 4, and I said we were going to take out Quaylog, but I completely forgot that we had not touched upon the Bell Gargoyles, and they do deserve some touching. Ooh, yes, we got the whole monk party here now. What's up? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I agree. What about you? Beautiful lady. Beautiful lady. We're gonna meet her again later. Just not under such calm circumstances. Oh, Firelink Shrine and Oasis of Peace in a time of war. Uh, I want to take out the Bell Gargoyles because they are the keepers of the first bell or second bell. Depends on what order you're doing them in. And we always, yeah. Elevator lag. Elevator lag. And after that, we are going down to Blight Town to take out Quelog. And if we can do them both in this episode. I'm going to be mighty happy, because then we're going to open up Sen's Fortress, which is going to be a lot of fun. But right now, we got a few douchebags. Yeah. Have you learned nothing at bad guy school? Hope Sauron gave him a spanking. Oh, yep, Sauron definitely taught him some new tricks. Come on. There we go. Now, I don't think the gargoyles should be a problem, really. I do, we do have some, uh, I never spent my souls. <laughs> Screw the souls. Uh, just in case things look incredibly grim. Oh yeah, we do have some gold pine. I know that the, the gargoyles are weak against uh, lightning. So we're gonna take it. Uh, should we, yeah, let's sip, let's sip. Let's play it safe. What ring do we have? The darkwood grain ring. Oh yeah. That's why we're doing ninja flips dark, you noob. Wah! No, you're not. Wah! Look at this! Oh, I could make some awesome YouTube videos. Like, if there was a YouTube in Dark Souls, everybody would be like, Oh, come look at the crazy girl who's doing... Oh, come on! That was a... That, okay, that was a miss. That was a miss. Look at the crazy girl who's doing backflips and stuff. Wish. And I'm just gonna go be taking out these guys. Oi, la la la. Alright, I'm now going to demonstrate what you should never, ever, ever do in Dark Souls. It's called running. Uh, they're kind of chipping away at me, I'm having a hard time killing them. So instead I want to face you guys. Because you're much easier getting past. Once you run past these, you just want to go up the stairs nice and calmly. You're going to skip them all and get to the bosses with seven Estus flasks, because I got a sip. I actually forgot one humanity, which you can find... Uh, further in there but one humanity I think we're good especially when I got this these people chasing me they st no they're coming I also <laughs> I'm gonna get the stuff I'm gonna get the stuff here you can actually summon two phantoms to help you in the battle uh, if you free Lotric and don't kill him you can summon him down there and over here you can summon Solaire if you're in human form so you can get some help with the battle if it's turning out difficult for you I think the bell gargoyles was uh, it was one of the boss fights that kind of had me like, how am I gonna do this? I had like an unupgraded broadsword or something, I can't remember. I did not do any damage to them whatsoever. Wait, did somebody get hurt up in the tower? I saw life bar. That's strange. Alright, let's rock and roll. Bring it on. Yeah! Whoa! 200 damage? Are you kidding me? At this rate, I don't even have to use my pyromancies. How can I do so much that? I guess I'm a bit late to the party. I mean, I do have a plus 5 hand axe. I'm just used to kind of. I don't know, I'm not gonna complain. Gargoyle fight! Back away fight! Got nothing on me. Now, the trick to this battle is basically just getting a weapon that doesn't have damage. But once you hurt this guy enough, things are gonna get interesting. 
Yeah, he's gonna summon his brother, the fire gargoyle. And he's gonna be like, oh, come help me, bro. Come on, that was a t that was not fair. That was, that was, okay, I died during the gargoyle fight. But before we do that, we can pick up the soul. Oh, scheisse, can you guys come down with the fire? Okay, dodge first, fire afterwards. That's what Ember said. Oh boy, oh boy, no, jump. If you get stuck in the fire with zero poise, that's what's gonna happen. Ah, You know what? I know what we have to do. We c I can't be fighting two of them at once. Uh, they just, they get me too easily stuck in the fire, so I'm gonna have to just go after, I have one resin left. I have to just go after one of them, damage him as much as possible, and just kill him. So we're gonna have to go in there like a, oop, we're gonna have to go in there like a crazy axe person, but it's okay. We're gonna be fine, just fine and dandy. Alright, it's time to try again. You with me? Good, let's roll. Just realized I didn't start a timer for this episode either. So, I think the length of these uh, episodes are going to be kind of random. 300 damage, that's not bad. This is still like a plus 5 hand axe, I don't think I took it any further. Yeah, there we go. Now that guy's coming. Gonna heal up. Oh, we're not gonna get stuck in the fire, so... Perhaps fire orb so we can stay at a bit of a distance. Gonna pick up this. Okay. Oh, that gosh darn fire. Oh, perfect. Bam! Fire orb up your butt. Ha <laughs> ha! Gargoyle is taken down. I was about to say something beginning with an F, but I don't know what creature begins with an F. Maybe it was a f fr frog. They don't look much like frogs, though. Got some nice souls from that, and we can ring the first bell of awakening. And now that we have rung a bell that is up high. It's time to ring the bell that's down below. And down below is Blight Town, and Blight Town is not a pleasant place. I think should we should we do the I think we're gonna do the shortcut to get down to Blight Town. I don't know, I just feel like doing the shortcuts. And the really cool thing if you didn't know it, some of the online functions in this game are just really neat. Like Whenever a player rings the bell, like I do now, if you're in the area, you can hear the bells ringing. So you're like, oh, another player killed the gargoyles. Cool. Which which I just think is a really, really neat little feature. They have a lot of really awesome stuff. Can I jump? No, I cannot. YOLO. Yeah. Hey. How's it going? Wait. So this guy can um, help you leave covenants. You can request absolution, so you can kind of get everything, you, uh, all your sins um, <clears throat> cleared up. You know what I mean. And you can also teach you the well, what is it gesture, which is really awesome. Which I think is like the main use of this guy. A few more homeward bones. This guy sells a purging stone, uh, in case you get cursed. I very, I've only been cursed once during my first playthrough, but he sells them the cheapest, so I'm gonna buy one. Just in case. Just in case. And he also sells rings of sacrifice. No, we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna use my souls on other th stuff. But that guy's there. He's awesome. Let me show you the emotes. I set a point down. Come at me, bro. <laughs> I love that one. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. And the view is also freaking awesome. Alright. Gargoyle's taken down. Let's descend underground. 
Actually, we don't have the shortcut unlocked. We don't have the master key. Which means we're gonna have to go through the forest, which means I shouldn't have used the homeward bone. Awesome. Hey, Andre. Keep looking. You ain't getting my wares. Sure, you can get the ember. <laughs> uh, so now he can take it up to plus six, and we can start upgrading it with large titanite shards. We can actually do this from a bonfire. Because I do believe we bought the. Yeah, we did. We bought the thingy that allows us to do it. Anything else? I'm gonna need one more titanite shard so I can. Alright, and once we've done this, we don't really need to get Titanite Shards again in the game ever. Because I think all of this is going to use large Titanites, so we're done with the Titanites. I won't... Hey, do you think we can kill this guy? I say we try. Let's see how much damage the Fire Orb can do. We might wait until we get a stronger weapon. Alright, more upgraded Hand Axe, I guess I should say. Quip! I got owned. Alright, this guy has like an immense reach with that uh, pole of his. <laughs> pole. So you want to be careful. want to back away often and make him do his stupid ranged magic attack, which is so easy to dodge. And then you back away, back away, don't touch the sky. That's not a song. I should make a song that's like that. Oh boy. Oh, actually worked. Two more. Oh, I think we're gonna have to start hitting him with the axe. Oh, we don't have to hit him a lot though. I think this is gonna be okay. What do you want? What do you want? Huh? <gasps> Trading hits? Fine with me. Okay. This is the time to strike! Okay, that is not the time to strike. Oh, let's just back away. Good. Now we go. Dun 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 dun. dun. I'm actually just gonna use combustion. Whew. I'm gonna play it. Oh boy. Yeah, there we go. Combustion ain't that bad. Demon Titanite, which you can use to upgrade boss weapons. Although we won't be seeing any of them. But it's cool. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Oh, where are... Yeah, we're, go we're gonna take the shortcut, that's right. Means we're going to meet a black knight on that road that we have not faced before. So I'm eager to take him on in combat. And see if he's a worthy adversary for for Ember. Where are we... Careful in the forest here. These woods breathe evil. The trees are stalking you. And... That did not sound like a creepy forest. That just sounds like... Oh, shh, down there, down there. Do you see it? It's very rare. Titanius Lissardimus. And I want him. I want you in my room. Right now. Come here. We can make magic happen, baby. Why don't I just do this? Pfft. Silly dark. Titanite chunk and twinkling titanite. I approve. Oh, no. Please don't tell me we're gonna have lag spikes like that here in the forest. I don't want that. Okay. We're gonna drink because we're near a bonfire. And we don't have that much to go on health wise. Where are you? Now, the knight I have been speaking so warmly of is down here. He's a halberd knight, I believe. And you don't mess with halberd knights, or spare knights, or any knights with the long stick. Because when they have the long stick, they're usually compensating for something. Whoa. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get close enough. I might have to try and go for... Oh boy, this is going to end so badly. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go for the... Dark, you seriously need to control your ninja flips. 
Alright, this time I'm not messing around. I'm gonna freaking land on this guy. Just I gotta just figure out where he is. I'm gonna do drop attack right now. Come at me, bro. You can't exit animations, so it's quite dangerous doing them. I know that Vegeta did like a challenge where he had to use an animation during combat. I don't think I can drop onto him. No, I can't. Hey, loser. Loser, loser, wife abuser. Come on. Where are you? Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha, almost. Gotcha, no! Bring it on, I'm right here. And he's down. Blue Titanite Chunk. Won't really be needing a lot of the Titan. I guess we can break down the Titanite Chunk, so that is the Gross Crest Shield. A lot of people love that shield, including me. It only blocks 95% only, uh, but it does give you a big stamina boost. So it's really nice to have if you're if you're two-handing a weapon, since you can just have the shield on your back and get extra stamina. There's also a ring that will do the same thing. But I don't know, I'm liking my wood grain ring. Now down here we will be facing drakes, and drakes are pretty obnoxious creatures. So I think I just want to avoid them. But avoiding the drakes can be tough too, because they have obnoxious lightning attacks. Step on the button. Oh, dude, I love the ninja flip. Makes you feel so pro by not really doing anything. It does take up a ring slot though, so... If there's ever, some, if there's ever like a boss battle where we couldn't have rolled as much... I'll send this back up. Then that might not have been like the best ring to have. Here we are. Valley of Drakes. <sighs> Alright. First Drake out. That's you. Avoiding you. We still got one more to go. We're not out of this mess yet. It's this guy. Everybody's favorite Drake. And we're out of this mess. They drop like 1,000 souls each and they have a chance of dropping dragon scale, so they're often farmed. But they're quite obnoxious. Over here, I believe they're called ancient dragons, or they're like... They're what's left of the great dragons. I don't want to piss off this guy, basically. I don't have any good range of attacks and I'm really bad at fighting this guy, so I'm just like, nope. I'm gonna let him rest... I think I can grab one item without pissing him off. I can't remember which item. Yes, I knew it! Alright, so I got a soul. I don't think I can steal any of those, though. That's gonna piss him off. Now, if you had the master key, you could just j drop down to New Londo, and you could just come running over here straight away. We gotta take the long route, but it's okay, because down here we can find a key, which means we can uh, eventually unlock that shortcut. Basically, if they had the master key, you could access areas early and didn't have to look around for the key. Which is... it's pretty powerful. Oh, I think I need the key. I guess I can't... yeah, it's locked. Can't open from this side. Here we go. Here's Blight Town. A lot of poison, a lot of darkness, a lot of bad enemies. When I say bad, I mean like bad. Like you want to stay away from them bad. Okay. Come at me, bro. I just want to get to one of them. Do I have any fire bombs I can use? Oh, throwing knives. That's even better. Ah, I guess you can't get him alone. Well, you know what the kids say nowadays. YOLO! I like to just wait with rolling until they're like just about to attack because they can actually adjust their attack in the air. Like they just don't care. Uh, plenty of places you can drop down here if you want to increase the speed you're running at. Are you guys still following me? Are you guys going to be... Where are you gonna... <laughs> I, I, I didn't know you could do that. Okay, that is so cool because now I can get this item. They're all gonna suicide over there. Key to New Londo Ruins. And we're going down. 
can oh mosquitoes mosquitoes I think we're gonna have to use combustion on them they're just a pain to hit these guys are pretty harmless though bring it on I said bring it on kind of saving my combustions because I mean ah, it's okay because we're not in human form if you're in human form down here you will get invaded by an NPC actually oh boy can I get this yay glitch in the game oh <gasps> whoa okay <clears throat> let's run just gonna be running now because we have uh, toxic guys firing at us I do not approve let's take the uh, high-tech elevator down so here we are Welcome to Blight Town. Population, death and decay. It's a very nice place. Uh, I think you can get an apartment fairly cheap. So it's definitely a, a place you want to raise your kids. Uh, dung pies are used for uh, creating uh, toxin on enemies. So you can basically throw it and it'll create um, gas that's toxic. But you can also get toxic, so it's a double-edged sword. Bonfire lit. <sighs> well, we are going to have to re reverse the hollowing though, because I do actually want to take on the uh, the NPC down here, because I do want her souls. Speaking of which, we have some souls that we cannot lose, so we gotta be careful. Now, should we go for Quaylog first, or should we upgrade our weapon a little bit? I think we're. Did I use all my gold pine resin? Did I seriously spend all my gold? Cause she's immune to fire. And I don't I don't really think far ahead in time. And uh, I mean the, the slimes can drop uh titanite shards like that, but they don't really drop the right ones, they drop uh big bunches of green titanite shards. Which ain't gonna help me out much. Huh. But yeah, we're gonna go hunting for some slimes, but before we go slime hunting, we're gonna go man-eater hunting. Oh, they're in, uh, resistant to fire. Oh! Man-eater Mildreds. I remember the first time you invaded me, I panicked. Whoa! Bugs! Do not approve. Want to get away from the bugs. Ask she, she's not wearing a lot of armor. She does have the butcher's knife and a plank shield, so she is. She has a distinct appearance. I can say that much without insulting her, I think. Oh! You got flame resistance too! Why does everything down here have flame resistance? I'm just gonna go down here. We can fight in the arena. Alright. Gonna have to do something drastic here. Gonna have to parry Mildred. Or backstab. That works too. Oh, 179. You're going down, baby. Oh, trading hits. I like. No, you're not. Not today. Not ever. Good fight. It's actually going for another uh, gesture, but you know, it's okay. And she drops three humanity and the butcher's knife. And dragon scale, which we cannot use. Ba da ba da ba, ba da ba da ba. Guess I'm gonna be able to sell a lot of stuff in this playthrough. <laughs> There's gonna be more souls for me! Yay! Did I kindle the bonfire? Why do I still have one humanity? I guess I gained it during the fight. I don't really know how it works when you kind of randomly gain, um, when you randomly gain humanity. I know that you do it if you like get people to rate your or you get rated messages and stuff, but I haven't placed any messages. I don't even have the uh, the soapstone to do it, so I guess it's just we're doing random stuff. I should really be two-handing this more, shouldn't I? All right, let's take out the bugs. Closer. And poison is basically inevitable here, but. 
As a pyromancer, we can actually take a bit of poison. More than the other classes, I do believe we have the best poison resistant gear. If you don't start out as a pyromancer, but you want to look like a pyromancer, you can come over here. Got a spare set. And a poison mist pyromancy, which I don't think we'll be using. These are the uh, slugs. I, I guess slugs is more appropriate than slimes. And they're the ones we want to kill. Because they have a chance of dropping something good. Get over here. You're just going to bother me later. You too. And poison will slowly hack away at your health. But the poison in the swamp isn't really enough to do you any real damage. Okay, I think it's time for us to take on Quaylog. Once you've done that, we will open up a whole lot of cool stuff. By that I mean... Sense Fortress. And beyond that, epic challenges await us. Kindled is done. Repair, which is not needed. <gasps> Alright. Here we go, I guess. Oh, we're just gonna be chipping away at her health. Luckily, she's not too difficult. If you if you play it right, she won't actually hurt you. <clears throat> and I believe we might be able to get to her without getting poisoned. Oh, can we? Can we? Can we? Please? No, we cannot. But it's cool. I'm just gonna put some moss here. So once we get over there, you want to avoid the boulder, guys. They're gonna mess your world up, son. Whoa! <laughs> Always hated you guys. It's cool, it's cool. I should really be practicing for my test tomorrow, shouldn't I? <laughs> Killing giant spiders is a lot more important. And people who think so are awesome. Alright, Ember. It is time. Are you ready for this task? I don't know why I just... Whoa! Sweet trick! Sis, please don't crash on me. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Come on. I, I love the pose though. <sighs> Flexing muscles. That should be a new pose in Dark Souls. Here we can summon Man-Eater Mildred if we so desire, but I do not desire so. Let's drink up two hand, actually not. Let's go inside and face a beautiful and yet horrible boss encounter in terms of appearance. Look at that. Eyes that are glowing red, hairy, huge spider legs, that double tongue. But, what is on top? Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 boobs. It's Quaylog. Half woman, half spider. And we're taking her on. We are taking her on. With this frame rate. That makes a lot of sense. Here we go. She's gonna be spewing out lava all over the place. She also has a few AoE attacks. 37 damage? Oh, this is gonna take all night. But it's okay. We have time. Whoa. Okay, so she... If you get close to her, she might do an attack that is... Pretty easy to... There we go. Stab you. 
Stab you. Stab you. Problem is you gotta watch out, because she can charge up an AoE attack in like a matter of seconds. There was lava behind me. Awesome. Oh, there's lava everywhere. Look where you're going, Dark. You complete noob. Alright, I want to get close to you. Never mind. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm kind of cutting through the battle, is that this is... I don't really think it's very entertaining to watch me do this battle. Uh, I, can, I can basically show you what I'm doing right now. Just basically avoiding the lava and avoiding her, waiting for her to... You see, you're stressing me out! You can't do stuff when you got an audience, I'm just joking. Uh, just basically waiting for her to start the correct animation or the correct attack. Which is that attack, That's that attack is what I want. Can you do that again? Yeah. Then you basically gotta stay very close and stab her. And then she will most likely jump away, but she might also do a lava or AoE attack, so... Just gotta watch her. And watch where the lava is on the ground, so you have an escape route. Especially if you're a puny, uh, a puny cloth-wearing dude. I guess robe. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill me. Now I'm dead. I'm alive! Praise the Lord. By the Lord, I mean tell us. For is he not the one that shall be banned in Skyrim? Indeed. And there we go. She finally caught me in a corner. That was a nice battle, though. That was a nice battle. Alright, I think I'm gonna take her this round. Got a bit more. Got warmed up. So this time, it's battle time. Actually, the strong attack does like nine, like a lot more damage than just like the normal, uh, the normal attack. Like the difference is tremendous. Maybe I'm just hitting different spots. But I, I, I soon got her now. So I might as well just show the rest. Just didn't find this incredibly entertaining since I do so little damage. I mean, what is there to expect? You only have the best hat. Oh, she's on a roll now with those. I like that. Just stay to her left and you should be fine. Define, fine. I haven't tried using a fire spell on her. I think it's just gonna do zero HP or maybe even heal her. Who knows? Come at me. Come at me, bro. But that was a good battle, Kuelag. You did get me once. You did get me once. Alright, now that we've taken her out, we can ring the second bell of awakening. And after ringing the second bell of awakening and getting those souls, we... This is the wrong way. That is lag. We can actually go to Sense Fortress, which is kind of the next... The next step. And after Sense Fortress, we're going to get to Honor Lando. Which is where the trouble is probably going to begin, with a certain boss battle called Ornstein and Smo. Yeah. It's a dual boss battle, one huge fat guy with a hammer, one incredibly fast flying wolf guy with a spear. <laughs> I don't know, he's crazy. I Wolf is probably completely wrong, he's, he's more like a lion, I guess, since he has the Leo ring. And Leo is the zodiac sign that is like a lion. And Leo probably means lion in some language, I don't know. And I'm just embarrassing myself, I should just stop talking and pull the lever to ring the bell. Param. Param. So the bells chime. Both bells have been ringed. What does this mean? It means it is time, Mr. Giant. Pull the chains. And open forth the gate of Sen's Fortress. A lot of people hate this place, probably because it's a place filled with serpent people, giants, and death traps. But I think it's fun. So, um, we're gonna do it. Homer Bone, that's a good idea, but first... 
Some walls are whoosh, secrets. All right, Mister. Yes, of course I'm a new servant. <laughs> I don't need eggs, bro. Eh. Of course. I always do. So this is another covenant. If you want to join up with this girl. I know that she has some pyromancies. We cannot talk to her. Because we do not have the ring. Uh, you can get like a ring which will uh, allow you to understand her dialogue and it's it's some pretty sad stuff. What? Pyromancy, Great Chaos Fireball. Uh, you can basically offer her humanity to rise in the ranks and unlock like a shortcut so you can save a certain NPC. But we're not gonna be doing any of that. I think the Great Chaos Fireball takes up two slots. And we have like four balls. So I don't think it's actually worth it considering we don't have that many slots. Yeah, I believe that's it. Now that we activated this bonfire, we can warp here later once we learn how to warp. And besides from that, I believe we've done everything we need to do down here. Uh, we might want to go and get some more shards first though. Oh, I know, I know, we can break down the shards that we've gathered so far um, at a new guy who have appeared in Firelink Shrine, and then we can upgrade even more! Alright, I want to just do one more slime run, so let's go face the slimes. Now, there's actually a Pyromancer trainer down here in Blighttown, but I don't think she'll appear yet. I think the conditions for her to appear is to have, like, um... I'm not sure, but I think you need, like, an upgraded Pyromancy Flame. Maybe it's just killing Quaylog. We'll just have to come back and see, because... She's going to be able to upgrade our uh, Pyromancy Flame much more than Laurentius can. So... She also holds some really awesome Pyromancies that we want to get. She also has a little quest to get a pyromancy, which we will also do. But for now, give me that soul. Uh, what can we spend the souls on, really? Pyromancy flame, of course. Also, gonna buy a lot of pyromancies just so I just so I have them in my inventory, so I can rather choose than having to run all the way to buy if I suddenly get an idea. Slimes, here I come. <sighs> None of them wanted to drop me anything. That's just how kind they were today. Alright, I am going to head back out of here. We have to use the stairs, of course. And once I am out, I shall see you at Firelink Shrine. Oh, come on, for the love of all that is holy. No, don't... Alright, I rested at the buffer. Yes. Let's attempt this once more, this time with the ninja backflip! Works much better than walking off safely. I knew it, my mother said otherwise, but I knew it. Actually, before we go, we would want to go over here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to avoid getting uh, toxic. So I basically just got to sprint through these guys. Right, that's one down. Oh, 
Yeah. At least they dropped some good stuff. Because up here we have a... Firekeeper Soul, which is just what I need after a long day of being awesome. Oh, that's right, I have no poise. I will not be able to heal unless they give me a break. Ah, oh, they gave me a break. Good. Okay, now let's run around here. Bayam. And now let's go. Oh no! That was the wrong place. Okay, I'm gonna die now. Ugh. Time to get those souls back. No, no, no. Ah, we only had one ring of sacrifice and it shattered there as I was going back. As I went the wrong way, realized what I did, went back, did a roll just for fun, and fell off. This is it. If I die on the way back, I will lose 50,000 souls. And early on in the game, 50,000 is actually a lot. So the game has begun. Will Dark make it or will he fall off? Probably fall off. Uh, but I'm going to do my best. I don't want to lose those souls. We do have a lot of other souls, though, he said, and checked his inventory while on a lift. So, we'll still be able to get some souls, but I don't want to... Ah, let's not say if, because this is happening. Alright, that's one. Then we walk up this ladder right here. And then I went around there, which is not what I'm supposed to do. Oh, but thank the Lord for the Rings of Sacrifice. All right, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Let's get our stuff first before worrying about killing anything. At least it didn't land down there. I'm grateful about that. I think I'm gonna need a fire orb for this guy. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. There's only one guy left, and I think we can take him without getting too badly toxed. Hey there. Bam! <gasps> oh, sorry, I was wrong. Draw some purple moss. Like I'm gonna drop a fire orb on those. I said, like I'm gonna drop a fire orb down... I said, like I'm gonna drop a fire orb on these dogs! Nope. Plan B. Wah! That works too. And in here, fire keeper soul means we can get more, better, improved, Estes. Screw you. You can actually hit people with the pyromancy hand, which is kind of fun. No! Do not approve. Where are them dogs at? Let's not mess up. Let's not mess around with the dog start. Let's just leave, 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 leave now. Okay. We should be good. There should not be anything that's keeping us from the exit except for three huge guys with poison clubs. But it's okay, uh, luckily we can eventually learn how to warp between bonfires, I won't have to go through so much trouble, but hopefully then we are stronger. Although we will never be able to take more hits than we can take right now. Which is of course the challenge, where are we going now? Oh, up here. Wait, no we're, yes, no we're, are, are we going over there? No, this is the way, yeah, this is the way. This guy kind of confused there for a second. Okay, so we're one more obstacle away. Oh, would you also have the drakes? No, we can use the key. We found the key. Blyum. Out of my way. You filthy mugger. I'm going further up. Probably should heal. I know, I know. He's having trouble in Blighttown. What a noob. Yes, I am. 
I am. But I'm still having a heck of a time. All right, the three photos. I know your breath is just amazing. That ugh, didn't even hurt him. We're not going to be fighting these guys. <laughs> that hit me so badly, but the invincibility frames of the of the flip. <laughs> Got some lag there. And we made it! Freedom with Ember! Okay, not going down into Blight Town for a little while. Hate that place. Okay. Just gotta balance this. What can possibly go wrong? And now it's time to turn into a full on beast! I wonder how much we can upgrade our hand axe. I think we should be able to upgrade our hand axe to. New Lander Ruins. Our hand axe to plus. Plus 10, plus 10, plus 10 is what I'm trying to say. We can actually go and get the very large embers. We can get it to plus 15. Do have to drain the water, but I should be able to do it. It's just, I'm kind of hesitant about doing certain stuff because I've failed at doing it before. And so it's kind of left a bad memory imprinted in me. But we got to stop that now. We are Ember. We are a badass pyromancer. And my nose is itchy. And... Firelink Shrine, I've missed you so much. Alright, let's reinforce our Estes Flask. Plus, Tres. Tres, of course, not Tres, I'm not that stupid. Yeah. I guess we should uh, pop our souls. This is gonna take a while. Uh, first, no, first of all, we have to check out... The newest arrival here at the shrine. King Seeker Frampt. Oop. Got no... Got no ring. What's up, Frampt? Hello. Hello. Was it you who ran the bell of awakening? Sure was, bro. Glad to hear it. Yes, I do. Tell me about it. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Wind. Uh-huh. So that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. Just another day at the office. Okay, that's where we're going. Yes, I really need to break down these things right now. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be breaking down everything besides Titanite slabs, chunks, and large Titanite shards. So blue Titanite chunk, get over here. Green Titanite shards. Green Titanite shards do not become large Titanite shards, Dark. They become small shards. Titanite chunk? Yeah. I don't know, you're feeding him chunks! Chunks are actually easier to get than large shards, in my opinion. And we get a lot more from doing it. Okay. But that was a little hiccup on my end. Should still be good. Alright, but before we go to upgrade our weapon... It shouldn't really cost that many souls. So we can spend some souls here at Laurentius. Because I guess next episode will be us going into Sen's fortress. That's gonna be so beast. Large soul. Just gonna pop this. This place is so beautiful. The crossroad to the undead burg. The undead parish. To the catacombs. And to New Lando. I guess the catacombs is also a place we should go. When we finish up the first section of the catacombs, we uh, unlock the secret kind... Kind? No, the, 
the secret rite of kindling is what it's called. And it allows us to kindle up to 20 Estus flasks at one bonfire. Not that running out of Estus is our problem. I gotta sell those souls. Uh, our problem is mainly that we can't take a lot of damage, so we get killed really easily before we can heal. And we have no poise whatsoever. There is a ring that can help with this, which is out in the forest, but I didn't really get it. I think he's the... Uh, okay. I think he's talking about the poison mist. Yes? Look. No! Well, okay, that's a derp. Uh, I think he was talk. I think the game thought that I had talked to somebody in the swamp. Oh, I hope you're not gonna move. Oh, I hope you're not gonna disappear on me, dude. I'm gonna buy all your stuff in case you... I did not need the fireballs. Anyways, bought it. Deal with it. Let's upgrade our flame. We can take it all the way to plus 15. 8,000 souls. Should we leave... A... Let's leave a... YOLO. Plus 12 flame. That's pretty beast. Indeed. Pretty much knew that, but it's okay. If you want to tell me about it, you can tell me about it. Alright, 8,000 souls. Uh, should be enough to upgrade our hand axe. Which one do we want? How many large Titanite shards do we own? I forgot to talk to... Stop! 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 Dark is a derp. It's difficult playing and commentating at the same time. It take You're really focusing on other stuff than... Your objective. Whoa! Okay. Delayed, but I'll take it. Here we have the Morning Star Talisman. We can sell it. I did pick up the Lloyd Talismans, I think. Or was that over here? Just want them for later. In case I don't really feel like dealing with mimic chests. I don't like your chest. Dinner. Da -da 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 -da. That's a sentence I've never said. Anyway, whoa. I hear somebody. Skeletons better not be following me. Yeah, they gave up. <gasps> he said and was chased by a skeleton. Oh, ow. Dude, not cool. This is a great chance to test out my uh, new fire. Oh, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Gotta check out the damage on this one. 289. Not too bad for a roasted skeleton. Gotta feed him some stuff. Sunlight metal, we're not gonna need this. We're not gonna need this. Not gonna need this. Not gonna need this. Throwing knives can be good for attracting attention. That doesn't really count as another weapon. It's merely like a consumable. So it's okay to use that if you wanna. Cause I think I will. Charcoal, transient, soul. Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly, Soul of Kilag. Okay. You can basically sell Titanite Shards as well. We don't need them for anything else. I don't think so, sir. Also sell these ones. I know, it pains me, but we can sell the Twinkling Titanites. Yeah, we're not gonna need it. There it goes, and a Demon Titanite and Dragon Scale. I know, I know. It's painful seeing them go. Oh yeah, we got a lot to sell here. Let's basically sell everything we're not equipped with. It kind of feels good as well, because we're going to be able to have a really, really light bag. And I like that. Talisman used for casting miracles. Oh, we have a lot of armor sets we picked up as well. I have a backup set of robes. Won't be using, though. Okay, and we can sell the Cat Covenant Ring as well, since I won't be needing it. Okay, 38,000 souls, not bad, not bad. Actually, Laurentius, I'm back. 
19,000. Oh, we're getting close to plus 15 Pyromancy Flame. Then we can uh, ascend it and upgrade it even further to plus 5. And at that level, it's going to be freaking beast. I hope. Uh, we are going to need some new Pyromancies, which we shall acquire. Since I'm pretty sure we can find a new Pyromancy trainer down in the swamp now. But we are not going to the swamp yet. We are going to upgrade our weapon and prepare ourselves for the journey into Sense Fortress, which is going to be tomorrow, in the next day. They might not be uploaded once every day, but it's still a new day. I just thought it was a good way to remember and interruptions. I just think it's a good way to kind of make these, instead of episodes, just a day. It's another day in her life, since her day consists of one hour of adventure. I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna try to keep these videos under one hour because it seems that whenever a video goes over an hour, the quality on cell phones decrease, which is not cool. Don't like that. I often watch stuff on my cell phone. I would hate that. Hey, Andre. Andre, buddy, take a look at my axe. Ooh, we can get. No, must focus. First weapon. Although we have plenty. Hand axe plus 10, baby. Round shields. Now that has been ascended. Start upgrading you. Cracked round shield 09, which is <laughs> still a really, really pathetic shield, but um. Dang it! I shouldn't have done the shield, I should have done my armor. Oh well. It's okay. Next thing we're gonna start upgrading is our armor. Yeah, I think that's good. Hand Axe is now plus 10, Pyromancy Flame is now plus 13. Uh, do we want to tune some new magic here? Like, uh, how do I remove stuff? Oh, right, I just... <laughs> noob. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want. Maybe I want to... Play around with iron flesh for a little while. Could be fun. As you see, we get incredibly slow, but at the same time, we're gonna be like, oh, pff, can't kill me, I think. It's just something I wanna mess around with. And that's still not gone. I hope I can do gestures. Well, my nice voice from the dark. What do you think about it? This has been day four of the Dark Souls Charcoal Challenge. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, take care, stay awesome, and stay dark. Goodbye. Whew.